a fluffy, frothy pink foam. <laughs> Welcome to the Science Time Lab. Are you ready to experiment? Today, we're going to make chickpea foam. I have a question. What happens when you mix different food ingredients together? I'm thinking that by mixing the liquid from a can of chickpeas with some cream of tartar, we might be able to change them into a new texture. For this experiment, you'll need a can of chickpeas, cream of tartar, food colouring, a strainer, a bowl and an electric whisk. Let's begin the experiment. First, I need to strain the can of chickpeas. Now, you might need help from a grown-up to open the can. There we go. Open that. And now, strain it into a bowl. Woohoo! Give it a good jiggle to get out all the liquid. And there, just the chickpea liquid is left in the bowl. And I can make a nice hummus with these leftover chickpeas later. Now, we need to add in a scoop of cream of tartar. Cream of tartar is a white powder and it's like a secret helper. It helps make smooth things smoother, sticky things stickier and fluffy things fluffier. Let's hope it works its magic today. So one tablespoon, in it goes, plop. And for a bit of fun, let's add some food colouring. I think today I will use pink. So a few careful drops. One, two, three, four. There we go. Now for the whisking. When all the ingredients combine together, do you think they'll change? Ready, steady, whisk! Let's experiment. What will we see? Maybe we'll make a discovery. It's time for science. And scientifically, maybe we'll make a discovery. Whisking, whisking, whisking. Whisking, whisking, whisking. Whisking, whisking, whisking. What will we see? Eventually, let's experiment. What will we see? Maybe we'll make a discovery. And look! The longer I whisked, the more the ingredients combine together to make a fluffy, frothy pink foam. <laughs> Let's see what we've discovered. When we whisked the chickpea liquid, we were mixing in lots and lots of tiny little air bubbles and the chickpea liquid attached to the air bubbles to make a frothy, foamy foam. <laughs> Did you think our mixture was going to be foamy? And then the more we whisked, the more the cream of tartar could be our secret helper. And it helped make the fluffiest, frothiest foam. Oh, and don't forget the pink food coloring for that extra bit of fun. And look, I've mixed together some more colors. So now we have pink, blue, green, and yellow. I wonder what will happen when we swirl these colours together. There's pink for you and blue for me. Foam la di da, foam la di dee. There's green over here. And yellow over there. Foam, 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 foam everywhere. Whoa! Wow! Look at that. 
By mixing the different colours together, we made them change into new colours. I can see some purple. <laughs> Chickpea foam painting is fun. It feels wet, but it's also fluffy and foamy, kind of like a bubble bath. One colourful, swirly whirly artwork. Hmm. Isn't that amazing? By combining some simple ingredients, we completely change them from liquid and powder into a fluffy, frothy foam. You can change lots of things. You can change your face from a smile to a frown. Smile. Frown. You can change your speed from very fast to very slow. Fast. <gasps> slow. Changes, changes everywhere. But if you sit and stare, you stay the same. Sit and stare. Stay the same. Sit and stare. Change! <laughs> Did you change your face from a smile to a frown? Mm. Or from very fast to very slow? Maybe you might like to change some chickpea liquid into a fluffy, fuzzy foam. So discover your way with some science time today. Yeah.